hello everybody welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well so in this video as you know we are going to print this pattern that's uh, here so we are going to print this pattern using C programming we have to write a C code in order to print this pattern and also along with that we will draw the flowchart so without wasting any more time let's get started by writing the code so it is going to be very simple. I'll try my best to explain you in a simple language. So let us start by writing the code here. So we'll first of all write the header file. Then the main function. Right, then we will take some variables. Okay, we'll declare some variables. And for the number or for the number of rows we have to print, we'll take n right because we have to ask from the user the number of rows we want to print either we want to print uh, three rows or four rows or five rows or number of rows and number of rows that will be depend on the user so that that's why we're taking a variable n whose value the user will input then we will need two variables i and j for the for loop in order to print this uh, pattern so that you will get to know where we are using i and j and how we are using it you will get to know. As I said we will take the value of n from the user enter the number of rows right like that. So what we will do we will scan n right like that. So this is how now we will use a for loop for i from 1 number of rows i is for the number of rows and it will be less than equal to n the number of rows that the user is input so this one is for a row this loop the number of rows that we are going to print in the pattern this one is for the number of rows now we need one more loop in order to print it so we need j1 j will be less than equals to i why this condition we are using here that we will discuss in a while so stay tuned and then we will print j right and why we will print j that also we will discuss in a while so then we will go to another line for that we use backslash n and then close the return 0 and then close now why did we use uh, this why did we use these two loops? What do they signify? Now we'll discuss here in the try run. So here we will try run the code. Let's take an example uh, for the same pattern that we have here. One, two, three, four. We have here four rows. So n let the let us assume that n is four. The user that the value the user has given to us for n that is four. Right now what we will do? Our condition for the for loop is i less than equals to n that means i is less i should be less than or equal to 4 right now what we have here see this is the two loops so first i is 1 what is the value of i i is 1 we'll check the condition 1 less than or equal to 4 condition is true right then what we are doing we have to print here 1 1 2 1 2 3 now one thing one tip here i'm giving you to remember that for every true condition of this loop of the outer loop the inner loop starts as a fresh loop that means for every condition like for suppose i is 1 right and when we get inside this loop j is starting from 1 till i right and when we go outside i is incremented i will become 2 but j will again start from the fresh that means from 1 i will be 2 but j will be 1 that means for every true condition of the outer loop the inner loop will start as a fresh loop that means j will always start from 1 for every condition every true condition of the outer loop right this is the outer loop this is the inner loop now see here this is the true condition of the outer loop that means this condition is true 1 less than or equal to 4 now we'll get inside j is 1 and j will print we are printing j that means j will uh, run till i that means j will be less than equal to 1 in this case right so 
how we will print the pattern let me print the pattern here j value of j is 1 and 1 is less than or equal to 1 condition true that means we will print 1 again j value of j will be incremented now this loop will work this loop will run until the condition is not true right so first condition is true now j value of j will increment j will become 2 2 less than or equal to 1 condition false this condition is now completely false that means it will come out of the loop and af after coming out of the loop the cursor will go to the next line because we have here backslash n we use backslash n in order to move to the next line now again outer loop now outer loop value will be incremented that means i will be now 2 2 less than equals to 4 less than or equals to 4 condition true now it will get inside now as i told you the j will start from the uh, fresh loop so j will be j will start from 1 again right so now value of i is 2 so we have here 2 so 1 less than or equals to 2 condition true so we will print j value j is 1 1 right and then value of j will increment that is it will become 2 right 2 less than or equals to 2 condition again true so it will not go to the next line because here there is no a uh, backslash and command it is outside of the loop so here it will print just after 1 so 2 will print then again it will increment it will come 3 3 less than or equals to 2 condition false it will come out of the loop the cursor will go to next line same way again it will go here the condition of i will be i will be 3 now so 3 less than or equals to 4 condition is true j is now 3 because j is equals to j less than equals to i that means j less than equals to 3 j is not 3 j will be 1 again so j is again 1 right condition we will check 1 1 less than or equal to 3 condition true because 1 is less than 3 so 1 will print again value of j will increment it will become 2 2 less than or equals to 3 2 is less than 3 that means again 2 will print then again it will be 3 3 less than or equals to 3 j 3 is equals to 3 so again 3 will print and then it will be 4 4 less than or equals to 4 condition will be false that means there will uh, 4 will not print well, then it will come out of the loop after the condition is false so it will go to another line it will cursor will go to the another line again this loop will work i will be i will increment by one that means i will be four now right four less than or equals to four condition true right j is again one it will start as a fresh loop for every true condition of i as i told you but value of j will be compared with this j less than or equals to 4 because j will become here it is j less than equals to i and i is 4 right now so j is 1 for value of 1 condition is true 1 less than or equals to 4 so 1 will print then again for 2 the condition is true 2 will print for 3 again the condition is true 3 will print and then 4 again the condition is true the 4 will print then for 5 5 less than or equals to 4 condition is false so 5 will not print it will come out of the loop it will go to another line and then again the condition will be checked i will be incremented that means i is not 4 anymore it is 5 right 5 less than or equals to 4 condition false it will come out of this whole block right this for block come out of here return 0 and the code will end that means we needed to print here 4 rows the user has input n is equals to 4 and we have printed the 4 rows so that's how you write this code. I hope you guys understood. So let me quickly draw the flowchart for you guys. It is very easy. So keep watching. this is the flowchart for that pattern I hope you guys understood it's very simple